Hello, I'm Jeff Michael. Here's your CBS On The Go update. A big wet mess in Hollywood this morning. A water main break has flooded the busy intersection of Coenga and Odin, right up against the 101. In fact, one man going to work got stuck in the water. The DWP is there trying to clean up not only the water, but the trash. When it comes to quality of life, California is a pretty good place to live after all. Gallup's annual scoring of the state's quality of life ranked California number 14 for 2017. That index is based on five key traits of livability. California scored well when it came to physical attributes, a sense of community, and maintaining personal relationships. But yes, it did not score well when it comes to financial status, a metric of the population's sense of economic security. The best quality of life in America, as seen through the eyes of its residents, South Dakota. The worst, West Virginia. Now your CBS2 travel forecast. Here is Danielle Gersh. All right. Happy Tuesday, everyone. So very heavy rain and flooding possible in the central and southern portion of the country today into tomorrow. A slow moving cold front going to bring multiple multiple waves of heavy rain across portions of the central and southern U.S. from Texas to Michigan today into tomorrow. Freezing rain also going to be possible in the upper Midwest over the next couple of days with snow in the northern plains and the upper Great Lakes for today as well. So high temperatures this afternoon. Cool for many places. Butte checking in at just 8 degrees, 13 in Grand Forks, 20s in Minneapolis, upper 50s, not too bad in Chicago later today, below freezing in Kansas City, 20s in Denver, 20s in Salt Lake City, 50s and 60s from New York to Boston, 70s in Charlotte. So look, going to be warmer on the East Coast than it is here in the Southland. Our high just 60 degrees this afternoon, and we have some big changes on the way. So we have an area of low pressure, a trough, that's draped over the western portion of the United States. And this is why we're tracking a couple waves of energy to move through over the next couple of days to bring us some rain. We could see isolated showers beginning tomorrow afternoon. A better chance for rain, though, moves in Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, into Friday as well. So high temperatures today still about 10 degrees below normal. Cool, low 60s. We will have sunshine today. Clouds increase tomorrow. Isolated showers are possible. Better chance for showers arrives Thursday, stays with us into Friday. We're cool really for the next week. Overnight lows the next few days still going to be dropping down into the 30s and 40s. By Saturday, the sunshine is back for the weekend will warm up, but still those numbers mid to upper 60s right around average, if not just slightly below it. So certainly cool for our California standards. Jeff. All right, Danielle, thanks very much. More and more women of color are ditching chemicals they use to straighten their hair and are instead showcasing their natural curls. So much so, black hair care has grown into a multi-billion dollar industry. CBS 2's Pat Harvey has more on the companies cashing in on the shift. I'm excited to see it. When Sequoia Blodgett stopped using chemical relaxers to straighten her hair, she shared her journey on social media. A lot of the times, like, we've been told, okay, straight is beautiful. Like, you see that on all of the publications. You see that in the media. Sequoia is among the nearly 80% of African Americans who wore their hair in a natural style last year, according to research firm Mintel. It's turning into big money in a $2.5 billion black hair care market. We were 100% e-commerce when we launched, and very, very small. Mahisha Dellinger launched Curl 16 years ago after noticing a lack of products for afros, waves, and curls. Today, it's sold nationwide in several major retailers. All the experts or the people in the industry assumed it was going to be a fad. Um, but it what I mean, it's been around now for all these years. It's not a fad. As more women choose to go natural, beauty industry giants now want to build their own brands. Cosmetic powerhouse L'Oreal bought popular line Carol's Daughter. And Shea Moisture was recently sold to Dove Soap's parent company, Unilever. Now what you're starting to see in the shift, especially in the advertising world with brands, is when they hire a black woman, she has curly hair. Sequoia hopes her story encourages others to embrace their curls and feel comfortable in their own skin. Now with CBS 2's Pat Harvey reporting. Now, here is your CBS On The Go Sports. Yesterday was the first full workout for the Dodgers at Camelback Ranch in Glendale, Arizona. All of the team got back together for the first time since that painful 
Game 7 loss in the World Series to the Houston Astros last season. Skipper Dave Roberts talked about having to start all over again to get back into the Fall Classic. It takes a certain type of player, person, team to um, rebound and refocus each day to get better to uh, put ourselves in that same situation this year. And, you know, the, the intent, the focus, um, energy, very good today. All right, and that is your CBS On The Go update. I'm Jeff Michael. Remember, we are always on at CBSLA.com. Also, be sure to watch us on the CBS2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.